Hey there. Let's say you're hungry, looking for something to eat. Are you going to go in that cupboard and grab this? No. You know what's good for yourself. You're going to go in there and grab a nice box of this. The fact of the matter is, macaroni and cheese is one of the greatest and most interesting foods out there. This is due to its incredible versatility and deep history. Let's start off with the history. So the exact origins of macaroni is unknown, but more than likely started in Northern Europe, where the first known record of recipes dates back to 1769. So the way it found its way to the United States was a man by the name of Thomas Jefferson. Um, because of his love for the pasta dishes that were being served in France while he was visiting, he brought back noodle recipes, uh, pasta machine, all that good stuff, and when he was president, he served macaroni and cheese at a state dinner. And obviously it was a huge hit, so uh, that's probably one of the reasons he's on the nickel. I don't know about you guys, but when I think about macaroni and cheese, I think of Kraft macaroni and cheese. Kraft macaroni and cheese was founded in 1937, and yes, it's during the Great Depression, as crazy it may sound, but the reason it was so successful is because it could serve four people for 19 cents. Um, so at the time, uh, people, it's Great Depression, people need money, need to save money, go buy a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese, and you're good for life. So uh, that's the life story of macaroni and cheese. So, so there's a little bit of the history about macaroni and cheese, and now I'm going to tell you the best part is uh, some add-ins and followed by some great recipes. So start off simple, add some nice black pepper to your macaroni and cheese. Well, you can add some ranch, hot sauce, and my favorite, you gotta go with the sriracha if you're gonna do anything. Some garlic powder for all those garlic fans. Even ketchup if you feel like it. If you're feeling fancy, maybe throw some, some basil leaves in there. Uh, Parmesan cheese because you can never have too much cheese or any kind of shredded cheese for that matter. You can also add bacon bits, breadcrumbs, peas, tuna, some ground beef, some chopped onion, chopped veggies, some chopped hot dogs, or maybe some ham. Um, really anything, anything that you put your mind to, you put it in your macaroni. So if add-ins aren't enough for you and you're looking for something a little more gourmet, well, Good thing because I got a couple recipes that I found. So the first one is uh, taco macaroni and cheese. So you get some ground chuck and cook it till it's brown. Drain the grease. Add taco seasoning, some seasoned beef, some cheddar or Mexican cheese, whatever you prefer. And you mix all that together. Pour it in a casserole dish and then top with whatever taco toppings you want. I mean lettuce, tomato sour cream, literally anything that you want. The next one is buffalo mac and cheese. And this is going to be coat shredded chicken with your favorite buffalo sauce, whatever that may be. Add in some gorgonzola and then mix that into the macaroni and cheese. And then if you're feeling fancy, put some celery in there. And you got a buffalo wings and macaroni right there. The next one is a little different. It's macaroni sushi rolls. So what you're gonna do for this is you're gonna need a sushi roller, obviously. You roll up the ground beef, some ground beef, macaroni, and sriracha, all in plastic wrap. Roll it up and uh, you got some sushi rolls. So there you have it. That's all you need to know about macaroni and cheese. So remember next time you're hungry, looking in the grocery store or even through your cupboards, Make sure you pick up some of this.